Hey guys, right now we're in the uh, hotel garden and uh, it's quite refreshing to sit here because there's about how many? 10, 10 different uh, olive trees here and it's just great to sit out here, um, cool weather and yeah, order uh, coffee or Turkish tea. If you guys come to Iznik, I'd recommend you guys stay here. It's only uh, about 800 liras on a weekday to stay here. On the weekends it's slightly higher. Um, yeah, there's also a park in the back for your kids to play in while their parents sit here in the garden. And tomorrow's breakfast is gonna be here. So we'll, um, oh, inshallah, have breakfast out here. And yeah, we're gonna go around the uh, town of Iznik. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. See you around. our breakfast now in the hotel and here we have the usual Turkish breakfast we have many men over there and yeah we're sitting underneath the olive great all, big olive trees it's an olive grove olive grove Delicious. there's no olives on there no, currently no, no stop that you don't Obviously. start with cake okay you start with this type of stuff cake is the end sweet okay. stuff is the end nothing okay. sweet I just told you Start with that. Okay. The bread's coming. Oh, the bread's here. What are you doing? So he is. So on the way here, we uh, met this um, homeless kid on the street. So we let him come here, and then now he's having uh, breakfast. What he wants to do. Yeah, listen, oh, yeah. it's really nice. Yeah. Right? So we found this homeless guy. Uh, we can feed him. <laughs> uh, I'll take you to the hairdresser after this to get your haircut. That's more it is. Well, Tini like was a tomb. So yeah. these, this is an olive tree. One of the plants, the fruits that are mentioned in the Quran. The olive tree is the only tree that can still give fruit after a thousand years. So this is really a miracle tree, mashallah. <laughs> I think it's a homeless kid's first time seeing uh, this kind of food, so he's kind of a bit happy. <laughs> so every time I stop, he looks up to see what's, why I stopped, and then he closes his eyes. There, so I come back. Hey guys, right now we're in the uh, town center of Iznik, or the old Byzantine name being uh, Nicaea. And over there we have a mosque called Mahmoud Chelebi Jamisir. And on top of it, there's actually a bird nest, but not just a ordinary bird nests, those birds that are like really uh, long uh, they have really long legs and they're quite uh, tall they must be around here and it's directly on top of the dome like right in the center of the dome which is interesting and we're going to be praying today at the uh, Hagia Sophia mosque here so the, there's two Hagia Sophias um, one in Istanbul, the very popular one it's actually called the Hagia Sophia to Kebir Jamisi, which means that it's the big version and this mosque is called Hagia Sophia to Sagir Jamisi because Sagir in Arabic means small and Kebir means large so the small one is here in Iznik <laughs>
Right now we're in Hagia Sophia to Sagir, the small uh, Hagia Sophia, which is in Iznik, also known as Nicaea. Uh, this mosque was uh, converted into a mosque by Old Hangasi when he conquered Iznik from the Byzantines. And then uh, later it became a museum just like the other Hagia Sophia. And now it's back to mosque. Uh, alhamdulillah, we got to pray in both of the Hagia Sophias in our lifetime. Jesus. Yeah, here's a painting. So this of is Jesus, uh, Jesus Christ, oh, oh, our Lord and Savior, Andre. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah this, this is, is the rock that before. Jesus Christ sat on. Oh, it is. <laughs> oh, this is original mosaics. That's okay. nice. Well, let me explain. Oh, yeah. So what's interesting is there's exactly uh, an identical like thing. Planets. The sun and the planets. Are you sure? I don't know that. Yeah, with the sun and the planets revolving. Yeah, I around. think so. Yeah, there's one exactly. Like this inside the other Hagia Sophia uh, in Istanbul. And now we're in another part. So here, I don't know exactly what this is, but it looks like <coughs> kind of a small Coliseum, I think. Like, it looks like people will sit here, I think. Maybe this is where they meet. Like the priest would sit here. Oh, yeah, the priest would sit here. And then he's like, you know, all the other clerics of the original time. Wow. Marble. Yeah, that's good. Oh, look, a tomb, a uh, coffin. Why are they doing this? So, someone was buried here? So you have to find out more about this. There's a cross up there. Where? If you look from this side. Look at the painting in the middle. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, paintings here of apostles. Wow. See how it's got a round circle around his head, like a, oh, yeah. like a globe? That's, these one are, there, one there. They're supposed to be the apostles of Jesus. Oh. So this, there was a big fire, right? So there was a fire in Sultan Suleiman's time. Sadly, that fire was uh, like, not destroyed just a normal fire, the, it destroyed a, a lot of percentage of the uh, church, you could say, or whatever, it was a mosque, uh, which burnt down a lot of like Byzantine uh, anyway, structure. So what and relics, it yeah. is, uh, yeah, and it. also, also a uh, thing. The top is very different to normal. Yeah. Yeah, it's there's, like it's there's almost no like Noah's Ark. Uh, oh, yeah, that's how the church is. So this is the first Hagia Sophia. Yeah, the first one, the original one, and then oh, they made it. This is how bad it was. Oh wow! It's old picture. What the hell? Oof! It didn't even have a wow. minaret. Look at it. Look at this, guys. Yeah. It didn't look have the roof. It had no roof. Yeah. There was yeah. no roof. So this is. There was no top roof for any of that. How it was. And this is it now. It was very, like it was neglected for a long time. Like even going inside, you can see that a lot of the paintings. And, um, so this was actually turned into a converted into a museum during Mustafa Kemal's time, right? Yeah. So, so in 1935 turned into a museum. How did? When did it re convert back into so a museum? So it message? says that two, in 2011 they um, started to pray the Fajr prayer and the morning prayer, and they've been <coughs> ever since then it's just been open. And look at that! It's just astonishing how bad it was. Like, look at the uh, condition. It's mm. been neglected, left here to rot. And then Alhamdulillah now, the minar has been restored. The minar, something there. Yeah, it's gone. Like, look at that. Now, now so what can, do you think it is, Nick? You can see the new part of the mate. Yeah, I think an underrated place. Look, these are the old entry walls. This is a new reconstruction of it. This is an obelisk. Yeah, this shows you. We have a really nice lake here, right? Oh, yeah. Is this inside the lake? What is yeah, that? it's inside the lake. Shit, right? it's so cool. Must be a, like an old port or something. Let's have a look around. Look, you can still see the Byzantine columns here, yeah? decorations. Uh, so, the thing about Turkey that's very interesting, they have all different types of mosques. Like, they have mosques that have been uh, 
trenches before have been maybe a uh, word of uh, juice spray. And synagogue. Synagogue, maybe like they've changed it into a mosque. They haven't ruined it, they haven't done anything. They just, whatever condition was uh, at, they just maybe put like a, a dome and like a minhaj. Look at these marble columns. They've just been left here like that. They're not even like removed. So my conclusion is that the I Sophia mosque was just sitting here and it was just left to its rot basically. It was neglected and then uh, alhamdulillah now uh, it's been like restored. The minar is back there. It's being looked after now. But unfortunately because all those years it was neglected and um, it's been damaged since then. This area, Iznik, is also very popular for its porcelain and its tiles, the blue tiles, like this. You'll see it everywhere, you'll see it on like the taps, on uh, the bins as well, the bins are decorated like that. And also, uh, what's interesting is the blue mosque in Istanbul is actually uh, gets its name from the tiles that are from Iznik. Uh, yeah, interesting fact. So that's the end of our stay here. We're going to be uh, heading off to another city of Turkey and let's see where it could be. Stay tuned, let's head off. <laughs>